Now let me ask you, National Council, is it possible to make change here in our nation? Let me hear you. Is it possible when they go to attack the ADA and try to roll it back, can we make sure to stop them? Let me hear you. I also am proud to sponsor Bill this session to help our disabled farmers who are veterans to be able to have access to ag loans, to be able to have access to technology so that they could be entrepreneurs. Who here wants to work, wants to contribute to society, and just wants the opportunity? Let me hear you. I'm also a proud co-sponsor of Transitioning to Integrated and Meaningful Employment Act to remove barriers because we want to have every person in America, regardless of their disability, to be able to pursue the American dream. Who here wants to pursue the American dream, wants their government to help out? And I'm proud to announce we'll be requesting our co-sponsorship today of the Disability Integration Act. We can make this happen. Let me hear you, Council. Let me hear you if this is going to happen. Welcome to our capital. We will do everything in our power to make sure that every family, every member of society, no matter their disability, will be equal, have equal opportunity, have equal say, equal vote. But we need you to not only energize, we need you to... Not only energize, but what? Mobilize! Come on, National Council, you can do a lot of them, man. Not only energize, but... Mobilize! Thank you so much for having us. Welcome to your capital. We are excited for the future, and we will fight alongside you. Thank you, everybody, and welcome. All right. Now, I heard there were a few people from California in the house. You guys still out there? Our next speaker is House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. You're a beautiful sight to behold because your community, this community, did more to educate the American people about what was wrong, about what the Republicans were doing trying to overturn the Affordable Care Act. There were 10,000 events around the country in which all, as many of you participated to say this is what it means for people with a pre-existing condition. This is what it means uh, for people with disabilities. I'm very proud to stand before you wearing this pin. It's a Disabilities Integration Act yeah. pin. Yeah. S910 HR 342472. Bruce lent this to me so that I could hold it up here and say to you, I'll do everything possible to get as many co-sponsors for this legislation. Hi over there. There are a large number of people over there as well as part of all of this. We love you, Nancy. This weekend, I love you too. On Friday, I was in Milwaukee to the Independence First Center. Everybody here from Milwaukee? You know Independence First. And that was what this is about. Independence. For our, all of our people to live where they want to live, to be with their family members. Uh, this legislation will facilitate that. Senator Schumer in the Senate, Mr. Sensenbrenner in the House, and I love Cheryl, his wife. She's taught me so much. I've learned so much for her. So it's bipartisan. Let's make it the law of the land. It is a I really am here to say thank you to all of you because you're, this community knows full well the impact of public policy on your lives. This community has more knowledge and more courage to go out there and speak about what is right in terms of health care being a right, not a privilege for just the few. And when we talk about that, we mean for everyone. I see that t-shirt, they had that in... Uh, that's, that's beautiful, beautiful. Thank you with the flag. Because that's what our founders said, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And they meant that for everyone. So I thank you for making the fight with such knowledge of the issue, with such clarity of the presentation, including being arrested for some of you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Deaf people, yeah. <laughs> deaf people here yeah. getting arrested on a regular basis, wow. arresting people for speaking out about uh, wanting to be respected. We always say about whatever we do, and it applies in this community as well, 
We respect people for what they can do rather than judge them for what they cannot do. And as we make those uh, uh, values-based decisions, we have to do so with you in the room, at the table, helping to write the law, and that is my understanding of what the Disabilities Integration Act is. I, uh, I, I would brag by myself because when I was speaker, I had the privilege on the 20th anniversary of ADA to have the Congress of the United States be mechanized so that people with disabilities in wheelchairs could preside as Speaker of the House. Jim Langevin of Rhode Island was the first person to take advantage of that. But it is for other people, uh, uh, Tammy Duckworth, whether it's our veterans and all the rest, uh, it, is, it was something that made us all very, very proud. So I'm here to say thank you to you, whether it's about this bill or whether it's about the cost of prescription drugs, which we must negotiate to keep lower, whether it's about the pre-existing condition benefit that some want to overturn, it all has an effect. And about our veterans, many of whom uh, have fought to protect our freedom and now we want them to have all the freedom to be at home. Any veterans in the crowd? So anyway, on behalf of the House Democrats, I'm here to say thank you to all of you for making the difference, not only for this community, but for every person in America who deserves, and that's everyone in America, access to affordable, quality health care. We had the little lobbyists, many of whom came to see us, and little lobbyists here, any little lobbyists? Yes, there we are. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your leadership. It's a beautiful, you're a beautiful sight to behold. They've been present at practically every, uh, every, uh, I don't want to say political action, but every civic action across the country. So all of you, you've made a difference. Continue, you'll continue to make a difference. And when we run up against resistance, we don't agonize, we organize. Thank you for being in the lead on that. Mobilize, 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 mobilize. Thank you all very much to Nickel for bringing us all together today. Thank you to Kelly. Thank you, Kelly, and thank you, Steve Higgins, Kelly Buckland. Where did Kelly go? Right here. Kelly Buckland, my dear friend, and Steve Higgins, thank you so much. But thank each and every one of you. This will work. Know your power. Mobilize. Organize. Pass the bill. Thank you all very much. Thank you. All right. Joining us next on the stage from Nevada, we got some folks from the Midwest, Northwest, all over.